Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki. Um, today we're going to be talking about how I plan out our homeschool week. So I'm talking every Sunday, I sit down and I plan out our week. So if that is something that interest you and may help you figure out how to organize your homeschool um, curriculum or just your week by week, then uh, yeah, keep on watching. Okay, so planning out week by week can be very easy if you make it easy for you. So for me, that's organization. First, I have my trusty student planner. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just an ordinary planner. Um, and this I put out and I look at the week and I make sure, okay, what days are we schooling? And if there's anything else going on, I can plan accordingly. Then I ordered this off Amazon, which I will link below. This has been a lifesaver for me as far as organization. So I made a front sheet and this is a pocket. Um, so I was able to just slip that in there. And when you open it up, I have, there's five tabs here and you can literally list um, the days. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We only school Monday through Thursday, but sometimes I like to do an activity on Friday. So outside of her curriculum, we do extra stuff. This is what I call her homework um, folder. So I'm gonna list in here any extras outside of her curriculum that I want her to do. Um, and I'll show you exactly what that is. So we are finishing up our bug unit. So she has a few bug related worksheets in here. Um, but overall, I will show you some of the things that I do or give her for independent work. So this was just something I found online and I can link it below in the description box if you are interested in getting these free worksheets. Um, this is a sight word that she learned. So I thought what better way than to get her into doing some of these things so that she can like, we're obviously we need help here, but <laughs> um, it's, it's just gonna help her really put together um, it, it's gonna really hit home as far as learning the words. So then she gets a, we do a number every single day. So I have printed out 100 of these. So I have zero to 100. Um, and then she does whatever it tells her to do. So draw two, tally, she knows her tallies, but I don't know why she put a three. Um, one more, one less. We haven't really done this yet so i do not ask her to do that or the even her odd because we have not gone over that um and then she has to write out her twos and then the num the word two and yeah she has to do that every day then we do a letter of the week every week so the first week we did a so i just make her practice the a i don't make her color she's not really a coloring fan as you can see she needs to work on her a's <laughs> they get better and then they get worse and then i think she just rushes sometimes just to get through with it um, and then she also has to do lowercase a as well so she gets like three sheets to do sometimes four sometimes five but they're really easy things and she really enjoys doing the independent work and i put this in say for monday this will be monday's homework and then she'll have by dinner to complete that um, homework and then she hands it in to me i look it over and we go over anything that like she goofed on you know and then she'll either explain it or i'll explain it to her and it really works out for us and that way she can also do this like with my husband um, or anything that way it's kind of learning with other people other than me who's her primary <laughs> teacher so yeah that's very helpful i plan this out by a week 
um friday since we don't school on friday sometimes she just gets fun activities like i got this online as well since we're doing a bug unit and i have mini erasers to go with this so it's going to be like a math kind of thing or sorting and all that stuff so it'll be pretty easy and it'll be relaxed um to where we don't have to worry about doing like the curriculum or anything then if i'm being a little extra I found this sheet online and I'll be happy to link this below as well. These are books by letters. So somebody put this together and the measured mom, I believe is where I got this from. So I have not done this yet just because we don't go to the library on a consistent basis. So maybe next time I will, for next week, we're gonna be on letter D. So I can go and try to see if our library has any of those books and then we can read those throughout the week. Just a little something extra. Now for curriculum, we do the good and the beautiful. And I had the PDF printed out and I we bound this at Staples. Yes, they gave me an extremely large bind, but that's okay, it works. Um, so I go through each lesson that she needs to do from the curriculum. So we do one lesson per day. So we do four lessons per week, Monday through Thursday typically, um, unless there's a different day that we want to school and then take a different day off. So it pretty much tells you standard supplies um, and then I go through and I say okay um, pattern blocks so I'll get out the pattern blocks if I know that she'll need um, the pattern blocks that day there's the place value um, shape shuffle like there's lots of things that I know that I'll have to get out and that way it's out and ready for us to start the day so I just go through this and I say okay we're gonna need scissors we're gonna need glue um, and then I go on to the next lesson and kind of figure out, okay, what do I need from this lesson? And I literally go through every single lesson, four lessons, and anything that we need, I put to the side or put in a baggie or something, and I keep out on our desk so that it's easy to grab and go. I also have um, these, oh, where did I put them? Well, oh, here. I also use these tabs um, just to keep our places and things. Like there's something in the back here that she has to use almost every lesson. So it's just easy for us to flip through and not have to worry about losing our place. Um, and then I'll go through her language art, which is we are doing um, the Level K Primer course book. And then it just tells you what this masters letters numbers one through 15 learn song and short vowels long and short vowels <laughs> read simple words rhyming sorting and more and so i look and i go okay now we've been doing two lessons because she really enjoys doing this and if she's enjoying it then i say why not so i'll take we do two a day so eight a week um, and so I'll go through it and I'll see it also will tell me if I if we need anything as well one penny one dime crayons colored markers um, and then I'll go to the next lesson and I'll see what is needed for that um, and it really just goes very easy for me if I have everything prepared and laid out ahead of time that way I can just go up oh, we need that and it's already laid out on the table so like this one you know it needed um, this lesson needed a dime and a penny I don't want to have to go hunt through my purse to try to find these things so that's why I like to have them all out and ready on the table um, if she needs like this one needs buttons um, we do not have the, we didn't get the kit so I had to come up with my own um, things for it and so far we just use I got the dollars tree has um, I'll, I'll, I'll insert a picture here but it was basically like these stones that go into like fish bowls and <laughs> we use that um, for that but yeah you can see like it really is very thorough the colors are amazing it's a really good curriculum and it's getting her to really understand and grasps grasps onto the sounds and the vowels and the and you know 
um, the long and the short and it includes fun activities for them which gets her interested and that's why i think she really enjoys doing it um then it also traces it also does numbers it kind of incorporates a little bit of everything into the curriculum so i highly 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 recommend the good and the beautiful if you are um, looking for a curriculum to use and again do your own research it may not be ready or best for your family but it is working out pretty good for our family so then after we do um, some work, I bought this book off of Amazon and I will link this below as well. Um, it's a big book and I like that it has really big um, blocks here to write in. So I do not plan out the lessons. I don't go in here and say, okay, we're doing lesson such and such on this day because I would be erasing a lot. This is kindergarten. If she's having a bad day, then we just skip the day. If, if um, you know, we have something planned and we need to do it on a different day, then we go ahead and work around. And I would be erasing a lot if I wrote it out as a lesson plan. So all I do is after we finish a lesson, I then come in here and I go, okay, Monday we did math. We did lesson seven, reading. We did lesson 20 and 21, um, handwriting. I'll ask her, how many pages did you do in your handwriting book? She tells me and I put in one or two pages. And then anything extra that we do, if we do a geography lesson or a science lesson or a art and craft, I write what it is. That way I can kind of go back at the end of the year and go, man, okay, this is what we learned. We yeah. Not just for the year, but to look week by week and make sure I'm not adding in anything extra that we've already covered. So, yeah. I've started to incorporate this book, which is 365 Affirmations for Kids. Um, I am loving this book. I am going to do a video just on this book and a flip through, and I will go into a um, more depth of this. But I add in something from this book now in our notes category, and I use it as copy work. So I write in what we did as copy work that day. So that just gives you a hint um, of how I do this now. Illinois does not require me to record anything or keep anything, but I am anyway because I want to look back at the end of the year and go, okay, this is what we did and like go through it and see everything. And this is like all her homework and all her craft and stuff like that. So I got these at Dollar Tree and they came in a pack of three, I believe. Um, so it was a dollar for three of them and you can fit quite a bit and I can probably fit quite a bit more in here. And so anytime she gives me homework, I tuck this away in here. That way it kind of will go over and everything she did and kind of look at her progress as the months and everything go on. So yeah. That is about it for um, the things that I do to plan out our week. I just make sure that I get everything ready and I have, you know, handy things or extra things that I want to incorporate. Um, like if she does, if she does, let's see, pattern blocks, I can go on Google and type in pattern block activities and it'll give me a list and if I think that is something that she really enjoys I'll print off some free printables of pattern block things and I'll add that into her independent work so it gives her something that she enjoys to do now if it's something that she absolutely can't stand then I'm not going to torture her further um, unless it's something really important for her to learn so that is what really works for me and how I lay everything out really helps for time management. When I have her down there in our little classroom area and she's ready to school, I don't want to take time shuffling through the lesson and going, oh, what do I need? What do I need? Because now she's bored or now she's ready to get up and play or she's moved on and I've already, I, I know I have that time frame and if I have everything laid out in front of me it's boom 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 open and go open and go and it gets us through and we are ready to rock and roll and yeah so for me that works for me personally if you are the kind of you know grab it by the reins and just go as you go 
that's fine. If your kid's patient enough to sit there and wait while you scan through the lessons and see what there is that's needed and stuff like that, then please, by all means, this is this homeschool thing it, it, it's new for me but i've quickly learned that i don't have to do what you're doing and you don't have to do what i'm doing you're gonna do what works best for you there are no rules like take a deep breath relax there are no rules um, but you do want to check with your state as far as what they require from you. Some require you to record your attendance um, or have a minimum of like, say, 180 days of learning. And then they also require some require um, intent letters and stuff that you have to submit. And there's tons of different requirements for every state. So it's best that you go on the, I believe it's the HS. LDA I don't know it's I will link that down below as well and it'll list all the state requirements and you can go on there find your state and see what is required and then you can also get a membership with them and they will be um, legal counsel for you as well in any type of matters that may come up so I hope this video really helped you out I hope it got you to the point where if you were feeling a little unorganized that my way helped you feel organized or you're like no I don't want to spend my Sunday you know doing all of that well that's fine on Sunday I spend maybe like 30 minutes to an hour getting all of this stuff printed out if I need to print out her homework I call it she likes calling it that so which is kind of stuck um, and then I get everything ready and it's done within an hour and I'm done and I'm set and I know when we start Monday morning or Monday afternoon that everything will be there and ready to go. So if you guys enjoy this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And if you could subscribe down below and hit that notification bell and that's going to notify you anytime of my future videos. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and let me know in the comments what you do um, for your homeschool as far as organization. Do you plan out by the year? Do you plan out by the week like I do? Um, or any tips and hacks that you'd like to share with me? So uh, yeah, have a great one.